Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's a problem that actually can be done in less than three minutes. So you do this one quickly, it gives you a little bit extra time for the other ones that definitely take a lot more than three minutes. So let's read this problem together. It deals with power. It says a particle of mass 0.2 kilogram is moving in one dimension under a force that delivers a constant power of 0.5 watts to the particle. If the initial speed in meters per second of the particle is zero, the speed in meters per second after five seconds is, and we're looking for an integer quantity from one to nine. All right, so let's draw a quick schematic of what that looks like. So I have a particle where the mass is equal to 0 0.2 kilograms, and V initial equals zero, and we're applying a force, well, we don't know the quantity of the force, but we know that the power delivered to the particle is equal to 0 0.5 watts. So now we need a relationship between power, work, energy, and so forth. So we know that work, by definition, is equal to force times distance, which also is equal to the change in energy. Now, in this particular case, the energy we're looking for is only kinetic energy, so it's looking for the change in kinetic energy. We also know that the power, by definition, is equal to work over time. So that means that work is equal to power times time. Which means that power times time is equal to force times distance is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And of course, that's equal to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial, which is equal to kinetic energy final minus zero, or simply, kinetic energy obtained, which of course is equal to one-half mv squared. So now we have a relationship between power and kinetic energy, or actually velocity. So now we know that um, power times time is equal to one-half mv squared, or we could say that two power times time divided by mass is equal to v squared, or v is equal to the square root of two times power times time over the mass. And let's see here, two times the power, power is 0 0.5, and the time is, I believe, five seconds, right? Uh, five seconds, all right. And the mass is equal to 0 0.2 seconds. So here we have 2 times 0.5, which is 1. 5 divided by 0.2, that's actually 5 times 5, which is equal to the square root of 25, which is equal to 5 meters per second. So the answer, in this case, would be 5. So you can see that that can be done rather quickly in a minute or two. That gives you an extra minute or two for the next problem. But 5 is the correct answer, 5 meters per second, for a particle that undergoes a power of force that expends a power of 0.5 watts for a period of 5 seconds. And that is how it's done. Did I stay behind the, uh, the sunlight? <laughs>